Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at a tool called the blob brush. And here it is right on our tool panel, the blob brush. Now, what the blob brush actually does is it's very similar, we can say, to the paintbrush and to the pencil tool. But what it does is it's a pretty easy way to draw artwork that is already joined together. So a lot of times when we're creating different objects with a brush, each one's its own object, then you have to join it or group it or work with the Pathfinder. But the blob brush is just another tool. And again, what it does is with when drawing, you actually join things directly to an object. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So let me just begin with an ellipse. So I come on in here, I could draw this ellipse. There it is. Now, I need to have this ellipse selected. Let's say I decided, you know, I want to add to this. Now, the best thing really when you're working with the, a brush tool is to, the, I love to have a uh, like a Wacom tablet, a bamboo tablet that you can use to draw with or a mouse um, so you can have good control over what it is you're doing. So let's just grab this blob brush and we can really alter this circle. So I click it and again this is selected. Now if I want to increase or decrease the size of this brush I can grab my right and my left bracket keys. So my left bracket key it's going to decrease the size and my right bracket key is going to increase. So here goes, I could take this, I could come on in, click around, 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 around. And what we're doing is we're adding to this shape and the relationship of this shape, and there we have it. I come in and say, hmm, I want to fill this part in over in here. All right, so we've just created a shape, and when we look at this shape, we can, we're going to see that it actually is going to move all on its own. Now, with this selected too, we could come on in and start to work with the eraser tool. The eraser tool, we're going to find too, we can, we can increase and decrease the size of the eraser tool, the same way that we just did um, with the blob brush tool. So we can come on in here. Start erasing portions of this. Click off. And we just have altered our circle. Um, and again, lots of possibilities. We could change the color if we so choose. All right, so let's actually take a look at another one. And again, what's what's the point? Why would you want to use it? Well, again, what it does, the blob brush, is it you can join your artwork immediately. Um, so let's do another one. Let's start with a rectangle, a rounded rectangle. There we have a rounded rectangle. I have it selected. Again, I can grab my blob brush tool and I can come on in. Let's decrease it this time. Hold on. Hold down the wrong thing. Decrease. Right, so now we've con we can change the relationship of the shape. Um, and now, you know, we come on in with our eraser. If we choose, we can add a little bit more, even in with our blob brush. Now, the story is, though, is that we want, see if I just click this, I just made a line, but I didn't have this selected. Up oh, and look, it did. It moved it with it. Okay, good, because it was the same color and everything. So we could come in and just keep adding to that shape. And again, I definitely recommend working with like a Wacom tablet. So you can have, I'm working just on a, um, without one, but you can have much better control when you do so. Come on in with our eraser tool.
and the possibilities are endless. Make this one a little bit smaller. Come on in again. And we have just transformed a rectangle up. Oh, these are moving separately now, so which is fine. Um, what we could do is group it. So select them all, object group, and we've just transformed our rectangle into something very different. So there we have the blob, the blob brush and the eraser.